Welcome back to yet another exciting edition of the Star Maker. And on this particular edition, we shall be taking you back in time to show you that one young girl. We discovered her two years ago in 2019. And she showed up and she was amazing. She was spectacular. Her personality was great. But then the minute we started doing the whole development process, because we do develop these models before they go international, we eliminated her along the way. How cruel were we? But then she went back and worked on herself, came back and she was in shape and she was ready to take over the world. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you one of our favorites at the moment. She just debuted with Fendi, yes, Fendi. And she also worked New New, Valentino, and she took Europe by storm. Every casting director in Europe is obsessed with this girl. The agents in Europe can't wait to have her back because she's now back here on holiday, but she will be flying back anytime soon. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome with me, the most beautiful girl that I know, Adit Priscilla, and my name is Joram, your host for the show. Hi, Adit. Hi, Joram. How are you doing? I'm feeling good. How are you doing? Very well. Wow, so the so journey good. has been so long. Really? Take us back when you came for the casting in 2019. Actually, when I came for the casting, I came and they say yes to me on the first day. I remember. So by then, I was super excited that I made it. Inside my heart, I was like, yeah, I made it. Mm -hmm. But along the way, they dropped me. They were like, you know, your body is not in shape. Mm -hmm. Your skin is not super good. Mm -hmm. So I think you, you can make it now. Mm -hmm. You guys told me you're still young, you can make it. And you know, I felt so bad, but I just take it personal. Mm -hmm. I went back home. I try to work on my body, mm -hmm. to work on my skin. When, when my skin became better, that's when uh, I saw the poster for Kampala Passion Week. Mm -hmm. So I went for that Kampala Passion Week. I walked in. When I walked in, I texted Joram. I was like, Joram, I think it's my right time for me to come back. Yeah. And then you were like, okay, let's see. You go and send me some polarins. And then when I send you the polarin, you were like, um, I, will, I will let you know the day I will see you. Mm -hmm. When I saw you, then everything became good up mm. to now. It feels so great for me to be here. I know. It's exciting <laughs> and you know, it's a dream come true though. Absolutely. I didn't walk in Europe too much. Yes. I'm pretty sure in future I'll well, do very well, yes. very great. I just believe that. Not because I'm beautiful, not because I'm perfect, mm. but I believe in dreams. I also believe in God. God can make it for me. I strongly yeah, believe that. So it. I did. The minute you know we took you back, because I remember, thank you so much, Gloria Avamno, for texting me and then telling me there's this girl that just walked in for Kampala Fashion. Because I remember Gloria yeah. called me and then um, Edward Semper as well, one of the creative yeah. directors. He called me and he's like, there's this girl that we just saw at Kampala Fashion Week. And he was telling me, oh, her name is Adit. And I'm like, I did. I know I did. I know I did very well. So yeah. I had to make sure I was there at Kampala Fashion Week, watch you again. And then you literally walked all the shows at Kampala yeah, Fashion I Week. Yeah, I walked all the shows in Kampala <laughs> Fashion Week. Exactly. That was the journey. That's how my journey began. Exactly. Yeah. So the minute I saw you, I was like, I must take on this guy. Yeah. So how was the whole process for you before you actually went international? The minute we signed you, how was the whole process? You know, it mm. was kind of hard. Mm. But then I never had a passport. Mm. And I never had like, um, anything I need so when you could text me be like I did have this shoot so mm. I could try I go and do that test shoot mm. and sometimes the pictures don't come out I felt so bad I'd be like <laughs> why well, I did the test shoot and it didn't come out mm. but I just be like I can't I can't mind it let me just be my son mm. so I went I look for my passport when I came back with the passport again I look for a garden visa I never had a garden visa mm. so it was kind of hard I tried to look for it. When I got it, the lockdown came. I was like, I, know. <laughs> I, sh I should give up. And then my heart was like, no, you shouldn't give up. You will try again next year. Mm. So my Ugandan visa got expired again. So I, it was kind of hard for me to get another one. So I struggled. I tried again to get it. So when I get it, that's when I told you, you know what, Dora, I got my student visa you have to do something this time around mm. so you were like okay i will let you know in case of anything when i told you that you look for me agency one in milan that's mm. why not my favorite yeah. i Honestly, love wine in milan i, I love absolutely love them milan. yes so you got it for me 
And then the perfect one, Vermilion. I in know. Paris. Premium is great. They're amazing. I can't wait to see amazing. them again. When you told me that Carmen signed the contract, it was like a nightmare. Like you aren't like, believing it. What's this? It was like I'll travel that night. <laughs> so when I came to the agency, we were like, I did. Congratulations. Yes. You got some agency. You know, I signed them and I was like, I can't wait to make it to Europe. Mm. So when I made it to Europe, I live here knowing that I'm going to work Friday. I know. <laughs> oh because God. I remember that um, the minute we got for her agencies, we're doing all this development and then all that. And the first job that came in, yeah. um, you know, your agency in Milano, yeah. Yeah. Why Not Milan was telling me, you know what, John, Adit is an option for Prada. Prada yeah. wants to confirm her. Can you get the visa? So the minute we got the visa, I remember very well, we left knowing you'll yeah. just be there for five days, five days then come, come back. back and then what happened the minute you got to Milan? How how was when, it casting like, for Prada? When I went to Milan, there was some mess on the way. <laughs> I lost syndrome. <laughs> I was not supposed to come out in the plane, so I decided to come out. I thought I could book for another plane from Rome to Milan. So it was such a mess. <laughs> so when I came out, the plane left. So when I came to ask, like, where I need, I'm going to Italy for using a Tovian airline, <laughs> and those guys were nice. like. The plane already left. Oh my God. I even shed tears. I was like, what all this? I'm going to be Prada. I cried for them. And they were like, what do you mean? I don't know what I was saying, but I just told them, I have a job in Milan mm. and I don't want to miss it out. Please, can you guys help me out? Mm. And then some gentleman came across, was like, what are, what's going on here? And then I explained it to him that, you know, I was supposed to go, like I, I, I came from Uganda mm. and I'm going to, to Milan. Mm. I have some job there and I don't want to miss it out. I have to be there before nine. Mm. And then this guy was like, um, I think you can book another flight. Mm. So I call you guys and like, I miss out my flight. <laughs> and you know, I was panicking and I was crying. I told that gentleman, mm -hmm. you can talk to my mother. I, just, I can't afford this. I can't afford to talk to him. I don't know how I will explain it. I am very and tough then, on the girls. I think that's why she's very scared. I was scared. <laughs> so he called you and explained it to you. And then I let him call those guys in Milan. Mm -hmm. So they planned to book for me another flight to oh, Milan. Yes. So when I reached Milan, I never went with my shoes case my bag <laughs> so i never had a clothes to wear like for <laughs> casting i never have a, like a casting cloth mm. so when I, I told those people my agents people in milan why not they were like still you can make it with the, the outfit you have like the one you're wearing mm. so when joram asked me did you got your bag i was like yeah i got it i got it <laughs> i have my bag and then it was like okay that's good so mm. i went for for prada and uh, that lady was nice to me. Mm. She was so good, the casting director for Prada. Mm. She was so nice. When I went there, she was like, we shall call you back anytime, mm. let your phone be on. And mm. then I said, okay. I went back to the model apartment, so happy and I was excited. The next day, I think they called my mother just and they were like, you know, I did can make it to Prada. I know. And they never wanted to tell me that. That's it. Now, let me tell yeah. you the secret. They actually <laughs> yeah. told us immediately you left Prada like this. Yeah. Because immediately you were out like this. They were like, she's beautiful. She's gorgeous. But this season, it's not going to work. I yeah. was heartbroken. I actually thought they were going to put you on the plane and send you back home to, to Africa Uganda. immediately. Yeah. But then I was very shocked the minute they started sending you to all these castings. How was your experience at the Fendi casting? The first biggest show Oh my God. Walked. Fendi yeah. was like uh, a nightmare. Like, I remember I was shouting to Joram at night. Like, I, he was like, I have Lame, she's there in, uh, in Milan. Mm -hmm. And I think she will do Fendi. And then it was like, wow, that sounds so great. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see her when she got done with her Fendi job. Mm -hmm. And then the next day, the why not people texted me that you have to go for um, Fendi casting. I was like, what? <laughs> I have to walk this show. They <laughs> want it or not. I have to walk it. Mm -hmm. So when I reached there for casting, you know, I never... I never felt something like, um, I never been near it. Mm. I never felt something bad. I was like, I think this will be my first show in Milan mm. and I have to walk it. So I walk in, I try my best and the casting director was like, I did, you are amazing. I can't wow. wait to see you 
on the show. And then I was like, thank you so much. It means a lot for me to, to be here and I can't wait to hit the runway. Amazing. And then she was like, wow, Amazing. is it your first show? And then I say, yeah, it's my first show. So immediately you were done with Fendi and then you booked Valentino. How was the experience working for Valentino? It was exciting. Not even exciting. Like, yes. I was like, what's all this? I'm sure everything was just like a dream. I was running mad. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> this is a dream come true indeed. Yes. What I just learned from there, mm. it was like, you know, everyone have their own right time. Yes. I was like, this is my right time to do this job. Mm. So I have to do them and I have to use them nicely. Mm. So I think it was my right time Absolutely. to walk those shows. Exactly. And, and I believe that because I remember every time I was talking to her, she yeah. kept telling me, John, this is my season. This is my time. I yeah. have to use my season. And I'm like, oh, yeah. she's only 18. When did she mm -hmm. learn all these things of like, you know, it's my season. It's my yeah. time. So immediately you were done with, you know, Valentino. And then they booked you for a five day job shooting in uh, Miu Miu. Yeah, in exactly. Cortina? In Cortina. Actually, Miu Miu is so amazing. Mm -hmm. It's so good. And it's one of the hardest job ever did in Milan. I can imagine. You were filming in the snow, yeah. you were sleeping in the mountains. Imagine, like, i know never been in the snow mm. before, but when I go there, it was uh, something different. I thought I would die. I was like, what's all this? <laughs> because i never been in the snow. Yes. It was something different. I was like, oh, I have to do it because it's what I pray for. Mm. A Nigerian girl mm. painted because what? of coldness. Mm. So, and she became fine after. You know, I felt bad mm. by then. I was like, oh, it's not like that. I don't think it would work. I can imagine. But, you know, she became fine and she did the show. Miu Miu was everything. It was I can really imagine. Good. I mean, it's one of the yeah. biggest brands in the whole world. Yeah. It's every little girl's dream to walk Miu Miu. Miu, Miu. Well done, Adit. We are so proud of you. Thank and you then, so much. And then imagine after having that incredible season, you were named as one of the top newcomers. Ladies and gentlemen, she was named as one of the biggest top newcomers for the fall winter season 2021. How did you feel like the minute they announced you all over the world that you were you one know, of the top newcomers? I wasn't much excited. Why? I wasn't too excited because mm. I know it's the beginning for me. Yes. I didn't make it to the top. Yes. It's just the beginning. Yes. So I was like, wow, it feels so good mm. and I have to make it to the top. Yes. You never know. I don't know what the future has, but... I, 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 like, I, I like your attitude, I like your mentality. So Thank you. I was here, me, my mother agent, I'm like, yeah, she's arrived, she's made it. And then to the girl, she's like, no, it's just the beginning. It's the beginning, you know. Yes. I appreciate everyone, you know. I yes. appreciate them and it feels so good for me. And I wasn't much excited because mm. it's not an award. Yeah, I, I wasn't being awarded. So I can't be so excited about it. I'm so grateful for mm. it. it. Feels so good. Yeah. Amazing. Your future is bright, and you'll be heading back to Paris immediately. Because when you were in Milan, did you also go to Paris? Yeah, I passed by in Paris. Mm. Like I was having some jobs in Paris. Yeah. So I did some, and I didn't do some job because you know. You had to like come back. I have to come back to renew get, the visa. Renew the visa, and I can't wait to go back to Paris. I can't imagine. I can't wait to go back to Paris. And you're going to sweep yeah. everything when you go back to Paris. So, Adit, for all the time that you were there, because I'm sure you did three weeks in Europe. Yeah. Now you're back. You've renewed your visa. You're flying back anytime soon. What is the biggest thing that you've learned in Europe in that you Europe? want all the young people out there that are watching to also learn? Okay, mm. what I've learned in mm. Europe is um, you just need to be yourself. Just be where you are. Mm. Don't say it. I need to be like a dude a kid. I need to be like this model. Mm. I need to be like any model, any top model. So anyone, just be yourself and mm. say, this is who I am. Mm. And also learn, you should be confident. Exactly. Confidence, confidence is key. Like yeah. super, super, super key. You should key. be confident mm. in everything you do. Mm. And mind your own business because we <laughs> meet different types of people in this world. Yeah. So just mind your own business. Mm. Focus, stay positive, mm. do the needful. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. I am super proud of you. You have grown. Your confidence is on yeah. another level. And the fact that you were that young girl that, you know, we discovered just 2019, two yeah. years, and you're already working all these blue chip shows and then yeah. all that. So can you give us your final advice to the young people that are watching you? People that are dreaming right now of being like you, people that dream that one day I'm going to be like a date. What's that one thing that you would like? To okay, what I can say to them is you need to be patient. Yes. Passion pays a lot. Yes. It has paid me a lot. So you need to be patient. 
You need to believe in yourself. Mm. Even if nobody can live with you, mm. just believe in yourself. You need to have a strong personality. Yes. Build it. Even if you don't have it, you need to build it. Yes. You also need, I would say, have confidence. That's what I can say. Yeah. And be patient. Work hard. Don't give up. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> give me a high five. Well done. I'm Thank so you. proud of you. We will always celebrate you. Yeah. I wish we could go on forever. You know, just keep talking and talking. But unfortunately, you know, our viewers out there would love to know so much about you. But in case you have any more questions, feel free to always, you know, just slide into her DM on her Instagram. I did Priscilla, that's on her Instagram. You will get to understand, get to know more about it. We had an amazing time on the show. My name is Joram and you've been watching The Star Maker.